All right, team. So hopefully what you got out of that uh, lesson there was a, a couple of things. One, around the stress response and what happens internally in our brain to cause us to feel or perceive stress. And thanks to Catherine Burkett, who uh, we got that from. Second part is then how that ultimately affects our thinking and then our behavior. So above or below the line. And when I came across that model, it just really summed up, or able, enabled me to identify where my mood was throughout the day. You know, uh, I remember waking up one day, my darling had already left the house, and I was getting all the kids ready, and I was getting them into school, and I was late for school. And I noticed that I started blaming her for being late. Like she had nothing to do with this part of the morning whatsoever and I noticed that I started doing that a lot of the time and so blaming is below the line um, and so when I'm below the line I can't operate above the line and solve problems in other parts of my life I can't be creative I can't see solutions and so it was a real epiphany for me to really identify when I was below the line and the other part what Joe Dispenza talks about is how long are we below the line or how long are we having that emotional reaction for um, which is the refractory period so um, those are the really things the things that really sit with me hopefully they came across to you if they didn't um, if you want some things to clarify it or if you want to share any things jump into the um, Facebook group and share those check out the task video for your task for the next few days